Kate references. Hello. Hello. You know, <clears throat> highway driving. <laughs> it's this contract between you and the law that you will be aware and alert and keep your nose clean, you know? Did you know that some people go through their whole lives without ever being in jail? It's true. Now, I'm one of those people that I wouldn't have minded having one jail thing in my past if it had been for a protest or something. But when I marched in the anti-nuclear protest in Chicago, they didn't arrest us. So. Oh, we were peacefully marching. And, you know, I don't know. But anyway, driving on the highway. There's a lot of traffic. As I used to say, which is very annoying, and it even annoys me, but where's everybody going? <laughs> where's everybody going? Hell in a handbasket. That's where. I, uh, my thyroid in it has been increased again, even though my tests are now normal, but I feel no better. But they increased it. What it is is called a titration. They can't give you too much too fast, or it could kill you. Ah, you know. But I just think they should determine the starting dose by not only your test result, but by your weight. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I am a hefty parcel. I just think starting me off at 25 micro, micrograms is starting too low. And now I'm at 75 micrograms and okay. It's just like every three weeks you can get it increased and get blood work and stuff. And it's like that until they find the level where you actually are functional. It's, it's, it's like water torture. It's, it's like, okay, I'll take this for three weeks and see if, if I feel better in three weeks. But all these weeks are flying by. And I really... <laughs> here's, here's the thing. I really want to feel better now. And... Maybe it's an immediate gratification thing. Okay, okay, all right. Fortunately, the pills are not super expensive. However, it's not that. It's that I'm losing all this time. First of all, I lost months of time by sheer idiocy. When I started going to the new doctor, I kept forgetting to give him the tests that my old doctor wanted to have done. So he could order them. So the results would go to him. I could have had them done, but I didn't want them going to her. I wanted them going, going to the new guy. I kept forgetting to give them to him. Because <laughs> it affects your brain. <laughs> Uh, it affects everything. Thyroid affects everything. Your your me metabolic rate plus your brain. Brains. See, that's why you know the zombie thing is really funny to me because you know people talking about the, the zombie apocalypse. Blah blah blah. I'm in my own zombie apocalypse. Thank you very much. I don't want to be a zombie. It's just that I am. I I I, I don't want to be. So I've expended a lot of my energy this morning just getting ready to go to work. Now yesterday I worked from home. And so that little bit of energy was not spent just getting ready for work. Yeah. So anyway. 
Oh well. Big trucks. Big trucks. Little cars. And that's the problem. Sometimes I say the trucks that are merging on either side of me or changing lanes. I say to them, just in a normal voice, do not kill me. I'm just, it's just an invocation. It's just sending it out to the cosmos. I know they can't hear me. But I'm just sending it out there. Do not kill me. <laughs> As you merge into my lane. Please, do not kill me. I keep having this odd sense that I'm going to be vlogging and, you know, as you notice, I don't look at the camera very much because I'm driving. I'm trying to pay attention to the road and, and what's around me and back of me, to the side of me, etc., etc. And I, I keep having this odd feeling that I'm going to be vlogging someday and I'm going to be in an accident. That won't be my fault either. The only accidents I've ever been in were not my fault. Stopped at a red light with nowhere to go and being rear-ended while you're stopped at a stoplight, that's not your fault. I'm sorry. If the light is red and someone is coming at you in the back, no, it's not your fault you were hit. I'm sorry. Those are the only accidents I've been in. <sighs> that happened to me twice. And, uh, uh, one time, the weather was so bad that there were like 80 million accidents that day because it was the first snow, snow in Indianapolis. It's a very dangerous day in Indianapolis when it's the day of the first snow because no one knows how to handle it. I was stopped at a stoplight. And minding my own business. <laughs> I was just minding my own business. And... Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. I thought I heard a siren, but I see nothing. <laughs> ah, hallucinations. Why not? It affects your brain. Uh, all of a sudden, I heard this noise, and it sounded like the person, the the engine was accelerating or being gunned. But I have a feeling. That's not exactly, I think he hit the brake and the gas at the same time. He was trying to brake, but we were downhill toward the cross street, and he right into me. And it was a day where you would just not, you don't even, it's the day where they say, don't even call us, just get the information, call us later, there are 80 million accidents already. It wasn't, it wasn't damaged that much. It was just, I was, but it wasn't. The car wasn't. It was one of the cumulative whiplashes I had. I had three severe whiplashes. Well, three little whiplashes. But the most severe wasn't in a car. <laughs> the most severe was on stage. It was a stage accident. And that snapped my head totally back. I heard it go, and I'm like, <laughs> so is it any wonder I have chronic pain? No, not really. Not really, because those things are cumulative. Plus, there's this thing called tissue memory. The body remembers what you've done to it. That's why you should treat it well. That was stupid, wasn't it? That was just a, a weird little story about being on the road. <laughs>